Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Also follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. Before we delve into the world of software cracking, I must emphasize that this video is purely for educational purposes. The information presented here is not intended to encourage or enable illegal activities. Unauthorized access to computer systems and software is a crime with serious consequences. My goal is to shed light on the techniques used by malicious actors, enhancing your understanding of cybersecurity threats. Knowledge is power, and by understanding how hackers operate, we can better protect ourselves and our digital assets. Remember, using your knowledge for illegal activities is never acceptable. Always respect the law and the hard work of software developers. Let's explore this complex world responsibly and ethically. Software piracy, the illegal copying and distribution of software, is a widespread problem with far-reaching consequences. When you use a cracked version of a program, you're not just getting a free ride, you're potentially harming yourself and the entire software ecosystem. Think of it this way. Software developers invest significant time, money, and effort into creating the programs we rely on daily. Piracy robs them of rightful compensation, stifling innovation, and discouraging the creation of new, groundbreaking software. Moreover, cracked software often comes bundled with malware, posing a serious threat to your privacy and security. You might think you're getting a great deal, but you could be inviting viruses, spyware, or even ransomware onto your device. One common method hackers employ to crack software is through the use of key generators, or keygens. These programs exploit vulnerabilities in software licensing systems to generate valid product keys. Imagine a keygen as a master key designed to unlock any door in a building. It bypasses the need for a legitimate key, granting unauthorized access to the software. Hackers often distribute keygens through underground forums and websites, making them readily available to those seeking to circumvent software licensing restrictions. However, using keygens is a risky proposition. There's no guarantee that the generated keys will work, and they could even be flagged as fraudulent, leading to software deactivation or worse. Another technique employed by software crackers is patching. This involves modifying the software's code to bypass or disable licensing checks. Think of it as a digital band-aid placed over the part of the program that verifies whether you've paid for it. Patching requires a deeper understanding of software and programming languages. Crackers analyze the software's code, searching for specific instructions related to licensing. Once identified, they modify or remove these instructions, effectively tricking the software into thinking it's registered. Patches are often distributed as separate files that users apply to the original software. However, as with keygens, using patches carries significant risks. Incorrectly applied patches can corrupt your software, rendering it unusable. Section 5. Reverse Engineering – Unraveling the Digital Tapestry Reverse engineering is a more sophisticated approach to software cracking, often employed by skilled hackers. It requires a deep understanding of both the software being analyzed and the tools used to dissect it. This technique involves deconstructing the software to understand its underlying design and functionality. By breaking down the code, hackers can see how the software operates at a fundamental level. Imagine meticulously disassembling a complex machine to comprehend how each component works together. Each part must be carefully examined to understand its role in the overall system. Hackers use specialized tools and debuggers to step through the software's code, analyzing its logic and data structures. These tools allow them to pause and inspect the code at various points. By unraveling the software's inner workings, they can identify vulnerabilities and weaknesses in the licensing mechanisms. This knowledge can then be used to bypass security measures. Reverse engineering is a time-consuming and complex process, but it can be highly effective in circumventing sophisticated software protections. It requires patience, precision, and a high level of technical skill. It's a constant cat-and-mouse game between crackers and developers, as each tries to outmaneuver the other. Developers create new protections, while hackers find new ways to break them. Section 6. The Notorious Tools of the Trade Software crackers utilize a variety of tools and software to achieve their goals. These tools range from readily available utilities to custom-built programs designed for specific cracking tasks. 
One commonly used tool is a disassembler, which translates machine code, the language computers understand, into a more human-readable format. Debuggers allow crackers to step through the software's execution, examining variables and identifying vulnerabilities. Hex editors enable crackers to manipulate the software's binary code directly, making precise modifications. These are just a few examples of the tools at a cracker's disposal. The specific tools used vary depending on the target software and the cracker's skill level. Section 7. When cracking makes headlines. Software cracking is not just a theoretical threat. It has real-world consequences as evidenced by numerous high-profile cases. One such case involved the cracking of Adobe Photoshop, a widely used image editing software. A group of hackers exploited vulnerabilities in Photoshop's licensing system, making cracked versions of the software readily available online. This resulted in significant financial losses for Adobe and sparked widespread debate about software piracy and its impact on the industry. In another case, hackers targeted video game companies, cracking popular titles shortly after their release. This not only deprived game developers of revenue, but also frustrated gamers who purchased legitimate copies only to find pirated versions circulating online. Section 8. The Arms Race. Software Developers Fight Back. The battle against software piracy is an ongoing arms race between crackers and software developers. Developers are constantly striving to strengthen their software security and make it more difficult to crack. One common approach is to implement sophisticated licensing systems that use encryption and secure authentication protocols. These systems make it more challenging for crackers to generate valid product keys or bypass licensing checks. Software developers also employ techniques like code obfuscation, which makes the software's code more difficult to understand and reverse engineer. This acts as a deterrent, making it more time-consuming and challenging for crackers to analyze and modify the software. Section 9. The Ethical Hacker – A Force for Good While the term hacker often evokes negative connotations, it's important to remember that not all hackers are malicious. In fact, many hackers use their skills to protect rather than to harm. Ethical hackers, also known as white hat hackers, use their skills for good, helping companies identify and fix security vulnerabilities. They are the unsung heroes of the digital age, working tirelessly behind the scenes. These cybersecurity professionals employ the same techniques and tools as malicious hackers, but with the goal of improving security, not exploiting it. Their work is crucial in maintaining the safety of our digital environments. They conduct penetration testing, simulating real-world attacks to identify weaknesses in systems and applications. This proactive approach helps in fortifying defenses before any real damage can occur. By proactively finding and reporting vulnerabilities, Ethical hackers play a crucial role in safeguarding our digital world. Their efforts ensure that potential threats are neutralized before they can cause harm. They help companies stay one step ahead of malicious actors, protecting sensitive data and ensuring the integrity of our digital infrastructure. Their vigilance and expertise are indispensable in today's interconnected world. Section 10. Why Supporting Software Matters Supporting software developers by purchasing legitimate software is not just about following the law, it's about fostering innovation and ensuring a thriving digital ecosystem. When you choose to buy software legally, you are directly contributing to the growth and sustainability of the tech industry. When you pay for software, you're investing in its continued development and supporting the creators who work tirelessly to bring us the tools we rely on. These developers spend countless hours coding, testing and refining their products to meet our needs. Legitimate software also comes with the peace of mind of knowing you're using a safe and reliable product. You can trust that the software has been thoroughly tested and is free from malicious code. You won't have to worry about malware infections, data breaches, or legal repercussions. Using pirated software can expose you to significant risks, including identity theft and financial loss. Moreover, you'll have access to updates, support, and new features, enhancing your user experience. Regular updates ensure that the software remains compatible with new technologies and continues to perform optimally. By choosing to support software developers, you contribute to a fairer and more sustainable digital world where creativity and innovation can flourish. Your support helps create a positive feedback loop, encouraging developers to continue pushing the boundaries of what's possible.
Section 11. Safeguarding the Digital World In today's interconnected world, cybersecurity is paramount. Understanding the techniques used by software crackers is essential for protecting ourselves and our digital assets. By staying informed about cybersecurity threats, practicing safe computing habits and supporting ethical hacking initiatives, we can collectively create a safer and more secure digital world. Remember, knowledge is power. The more we understand about the tactics employed by malicious actors, the better equipped we are to defend against their attacks. Let us use this knowledge responsibly to promote a culture of cybersecurity awareness and ethical digital citizenship. Together, we can build a future where technology empowers us, not endangers us.